Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to make the famous Thai sauce. I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks to making the perfect homemade Thai sweet chili sauce, which we call Nam Jim Tai. It's super easy and simple, and it's just perfect about anything. It's what we mostly use is for spring roll, fried chicken, or any deep fried food, and it's sweet, sour and that make it all better the main ingredients of course chili so i'm gonna use two types of chili one is going to be little or medium it's not spiciness that we are gonna use it for chili flavor or color Thailand, we typically use super chili, but I'm um, using this guy here. This is a sweet pepper. You can use anything that available in your country or your area. And the second kind of chili is what we are gonna use for spiciness. I'm using Thai chili for this. If your big chili already got enough spicy, you can skip for this. And then I have just chopped the chili here into small pieces and we are gonna blend them with the blender. For very good color, we need to make the sweet pepper into the yellow half and also red half. And then press the chili and garlic and also some of the water for the ingredients i will put in the description box below for this recipe we use half cup of the water after we put all in the food processor and then press it until lovely chop And then transfer into the sauce pot. Add one cup of sugar. Add 3 quarter cups of the vinegar. Add 1 tablespoon of the salt. And then mix everything well. Bring the mixture to a simmer, stirring in the beginning just until the sugar is dissolved. But we use first in the medium high heat, but after the sugar is dissolved, we heat down and simmering for 5 minutes after. It means totally about 10 minutes for simmer. And during we simmering the sauce, and then we need to prepare 1 tablespoon of the potato flour or topical flour mix with the water 3 tablespoon this will help the sauce is more concentration
Referring to simmer, if you see the bubble like this, we need to remove a little bit and it will make the sauce, our sauce is more clear. And now after 10 minutes pass, you can see our sauce is more thicker and then we will add the potato flour mixture and we continue to add with the stir with the sauce. We add 2 tablespoons but if you want the more thicker, you can add more. Keep continue to stirring when you add the potato flour solution. And then gentle simmer for another minutes. And after that, turn heat off. And after you turn it off and make it cool down, the sauce after cool down is more thicker. And now it's ready. Let's cool down. After it's cool, then store in the cluster in the refrigerator for up to 3 weeks. And then you can use this for dipping salt with the fried chicken, spring roll or any deep fried food. I believe that you will like this recipe. This is a simple to make. It's thick, sweet and a bit of spiciness with a delicious dipping sauce and this sauce is classic in the Asian cuisine especially Thai and Vietnamese cuisine I hope you give this try of this recipe and I hope you like this video So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and follow me on my YouTube and my Facebook and see you next time. Bye!